Hey guys, Norman001 here. I want to talk a little bit about the ATS Bollard speakers from Soundscape. Now these outdoor speakers are somewhat unique in that they were custom designed for the Walt Disney Company for use in their many theme parks worldwide. However, recently, the manufacturer of this speaker, Soundscape, have publicly released the unit and is now available to purchase by the general public. Having an interest in theme park audio myself, I decided to purchase this unit. And I have to say this is honestly one of the best ground-based outdoor speakers I've ever heard. Not only is their design attractive, but they produce a clear, balanced sound with reasonable amounts of low end, which many outdoor speakers lack. Better still, and unlike most in-ground outdoor speakers, the drivers are mounted vertically, instead of facing upright and projecting onto a lid, which can colour the sound and cause dirt to pile up on the cone. Rated at 100 watts peak power, the omnidirectional sound field of these units means you can cover a large area with just one speaker. And for what you get, the price is incredibly reasonable. So I'd recommend these speakers to anyone going by them. Now I know so far it sounds like I'm part of the marketing department at Soundscape and I'm being paid to say this or whatever. That's not the case. And the truth is I just really, really like these speakers. And considering these have only just recently become commercially available, there isn't a lot of information on them. And I just wanted to sort of bring them to people's attention because, you know, I think, I personally think they're pretty good. But as with all things, there are of course cons and drawbacks. And this speaker isn't short of them. And the biggest issue being these speakers were designed for commercial use in public places and not so much around the house or in a backyard. These speakers contain a volt line transformer which should be removed when using with a standard stereo system. There is a fix for this however and I'll take you through it now. And while this may seem a bit fiddly, trust me, it's definitely worth it in the end. Now if you plan on using this speaker for home use it's very important that you remove the transformer. Now this transformer is designed for use in large scale commercial PA systems like those used at Disney World and so forth. And without getting too technical, what it basically allows you to do is connect a whole lot of speakers together with really long cable runs onto the one amplifier. But the thing is, if you're running this speaker on a normal home stereo system, you don't need this device. Um, it will work, the speaker will work with this connected, so don't worry too much, it'll just be really quiet okay and like to unlock this speaker's full potential you're going to want to remove this device so I'm now going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to do that so um, hopefully this clears it up for you guys let's take a look so the first thing you're going to need to do is remove the screws along the side of the grill here once all the screws have been removed you want to just carefully take the grill off And now, we have access to the actual speaker drivers. The next step is to remove all four screws on the side of the speaker driver. So once all the screws have been removed, we can very carefully remove the driver from the unit. And there it is. Next, you're going to want to flip the speaker over and do the same thing for the other driver on the opposite side. And once that's all done, we can now remove this speaker. And so now we have full access to the interior of the speaker. And of course, once you've got all the speakers out of the way, you're just going to want to carefully remove this cloth from the interior, just so it's a lot easier to work on. And one thing you may notice is I've already um, completed this mod. You can see here these terminal blocks. Uh, this is what I've put in. So just ignore that. When you purchase this speaker new, these won't be here. Um, I'll show you step by step what the speaker will be like when you buy it and how to go about removing it the best I can. Even though unfortunately I've already, yeah, I've already done it in this case, but this is the only unit I have. So, you know, I can't, I can't really go back and reinstall it. So let's take a look. Okay. So I'll try my best to explain this. But uh, basically, when you purchase this speaker new, this big guy, the transformer, will be sitting 
just inside here, just inside the cabinet, on that little silver plate there. Again, sorry, I know the lighting's not great, just, just bear with me. But you can see that silver plate there, this is where the um, top screws of the transformer will be connected to. So what you'll need to do is just unscrew that from that side. If you want, you can even remove the whole panel, but I've chosen to keep it in. Um, that can be removed with, there's two screws on that side. You can see them there. But once you've gotten rid of the transformer, you need to splice the wires off. Okay, so I've decided what I'm going to do is actually remove uh, the installation I had, and I'm going to do this all, start this all again, because it's difficult to explain without a visual um, element to it. So, what you're going to want to do is grab your terminal block, and very carefully, this is going to be tricky because I'm doing it one hand, as you can see, uh, so there's not going to be much precision, but you're going to want to insert the wire into there once it's all secure, which it isn't now, but obviously if you weren't filming a video, you know, you'd be paying a bit more attention. And then once that's in, you would screw in the wire, you'd screw down on that terminal there, so the little um, little screw that you're screwing in will clamp down on the wire and keep it in place. You're going to want to do the same thing for the other wire as well. Okay, so that's all looking good. Next thing we're going to want to do is install some wire to connect the speaker because otherwise it's pretty useless. As you can see, I've prepared this cable. This is actually burial cable and that's what you're going to want to use for an outdoor speaker like this. Um, as it's designed to be buried in the ground and is resistant to whatever Mother Nature has in store. So let's go ahead and install this thing. Now when you remove the transformer, you will have to remove uh, this big fat wire. That'll be coming out of, um, that'll be coming out here. And you just need to pull that out. Once you've done so, you can then insert your new wire through the hole. So once you've pulled your speaker wire through and it's up near the terminal blocks, you're going to want to connect them. Now, it's important to note that on these speakers, white is positive and black is negative, so you're going to want to wire them accordingly. Often on speaker wire, red is associated with positive, so I've decided to wire white to red and obviously black to black. At this point, you may want to test your speakers which you can do by grabbing a 9 volt battery and wiring the speakers accordingly. There we go, so we now know that the speaker is getting a signal and we also know that the polarity is correct because we've wired the speakers positive and negative here and you can see the speaker is pushing out. If we had them on the incorrect phase it would be sucking in like this which we don't want. So we're going to want to have this nice push. That's all good. Everything's wired perfectly. You can now screw in the wire at the base. Reinstall the foam element. And you can now reinstall your speakers. Just be really careful though when doing so and make sure that this and with the dip, you can see the dip on the side there. Make sure that gets mounted vertically, otherwise your grill won't fit back on. So just do take extra care. Just want to take one last look at this driver before I put it back in. These are actually made by Misco, these speakers. They're branded as Soundscape, but um, they're, made, yeah, they're made by Misco. The Transformer has Misco branding on it. You can see it there. Finally, you can reinstall the grill. Okay, so the mod's all complete now. The transformer's been completely removed from the speaker, and the unit can now be used with a normal stereo system. And that concludes my video, guys. I hope you found it interesting, and I'll put some links in the description to Soundscape's website, and also some retailers that sell these speakers. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.